I'm very pleased to be joined with here today on Primetime Local News with Canadian country artist Dean Brody. We're talking about some new music. We'll start with the hit single, Boys, which is also the name of your new album. So with the song in particular, Dean, take us through the thought process when the song was being developed there. Yeah, actually, I didn't write the song. The song was written by um, some friends, but um, it's actually rare for me to take an outside song just because I do love writing my own stuff. But um, yeah, I just heard the song. It was, obviously, it's called Boys. And um, I, I just feel like uh, this day and age, you don't really hear a message like that, um, something with that much like uh, meat on it, I guess, so to speak. And uh, I heard it, I got kind of choked up listening to it. I have a daughter of my own. and. Um, it just made me think about her and, and uh, yeah, it just, it just resonated with me. I didn't know that it would be a single when, when we recorded it. I thought, well, maybe, you know, it's a little bit too heavy of subject matter. Um, but yeah, it ended up being everybody's like, man, this is a beautiful song. And of course with the collaboration with Mickey, it made it, I feel like the, you know, Mickey coming on board with that song is kind of what took it to the next level and made it what it is. Now, of course, that does lead into my next question about working with Mickey. You know, what element did she bring to the song that helped elevate it to what it is? I think um, a couple things. Like she, first of all, when I heard the kind of songs that she sings, I was like, okay, this is something that Mickey would, I think, um, it wouldn't scare her. I think some artists would be like, oh man, I don't know. It's not, you know, it's not straight up the middle country radio and might be a little risky, the subject matter. And um, But she'd had a, a song, uh, you know, last year called Black Like Me. She had another song called What Are You Gonna Tell Her? And it's actually her song, What Are You Gonna Tell Her? That made me go, oh man, I love, uh, I love who this person is and, and kind of what she stands for. So we sent it to her and she was, she was on board right away. And it's like, I love this song. She was pregnant with, a, with her boy, Grayson, who's since been born. But um, so yeah, there was that. Like, she's not scared of this stuff. It's right up her alley as far as what she wants to say. And then number two is obviously her voice. She's an incredible amazing singer and yeah just you know goosebumps on the back of my neck when I first heard her uh, and what she had done to the song when she came on board. How does this album stack up with your other work if you had to compare them do you find this one to be a little bit more personal this time around and how do you feel overall about this album boys? Um, man I feel like it's my favorite album I was thinking about that a few days ago I was just listening to it Sometimes you get so close to a project, you, you, you know, you're listening to it, you're singing it, you're playing it, you're doing all this stuff and you get so close, you just, you don't, can't appreciate it anymore. And so having, you know, I guess, was it six months since it's came out, um, just having that kind of space and then listening to it from top to bottom, I was like, man, I'm really proud of this. And it kind of came at a, you know, a time in my life where I wasn't doing so well on the personal front. And so it's kind of like, whew, you know, we, we knocked it out of the park on this one and I'm, I'm thankful because, uh, you know, it wasn't the most creative um, time in my life. But yeah, I'm super proud of it. Super proud of a song called I'd Go to Jail, which is maybe one of my favorite songs. It might be the, my favorite song ever. Um, it, it's going to be a single later this year. But yeah, super proud of it. And um, yeah, I think I think to date it's, you know, I, I feel like it's the strongest album we've done. I think it's safe to say you've had a pretty big year with all the hit singles that garner platinum certification, you know, like the song Can't Help Myself that you did with the Rec Laws. You know, how does hearing that and seeing stuff like this put your career into perspective from then to when maybe a couple years ago or 10 years ago when you were first starting doing music? Oh, yeah, that's interesting you say that, Connor, because last last night I was listening to uh, some songs like back in the day when I first got into country music. um, There's a Dwayne Steele was like really big. I look up to Dwayne. I got to meet him and I was just listening to some of his stuff. And I was like, oh man, um, I texted him and just said, hey dude, I'm down memory lane. You know, listen to some of your old stuff. And, and uh, um, but yeah, like if you'd have told Dean like back then that you're gonna, you know, be friends with some of these people like Terry Clark that you just idolized, I'd have been like, that's crazy. And, and to be hanging out with like Alan Doyle and Great Big C and being able to collaborate with with different people it's um it's amazing and yeah you know it's funny you should say that because I went down memory lane last night and, and it's just like yeah it's been a, it's been a, a wonderful journey really well Dean I really appreciate your time thank you very much for joining us today the new album boys as well as the hit single that's on that album is out now on all major streaming platforms to go have a listen Dean thank you so much man appreciate it